Hey guys, welcome back to Clownfish Gaming. This is Neon. This is Clownfish Gaming. This is gaming news, big gaming news. Grand Theft Auto 6, the trailer is out. As, as predicted, we did a video about this a couple weeks ago, and it's gotten a massive amount of views, 70 million views in 16 hours. Mr. Beast says it broke his record for the most views on YouTube in 24 hours. A very, very highly anticipated game, possibly the most anticipated video game of all time. But that's not the real story. No, no. The real story is if you react to this video, which I actually planned on doing. I was going to do a little bit of a reaction to the trailer, but I can't do that because if I do, I'm going to get hit with a copyright strike. Way to go. Way to go. But this is the same company, this publisher, that sent uh, thugs to a guy's house, Take-Two Interactive. They, they actually sent a couple of guys to a YouTuber's house because he had a leaked copy, I guess, or spoilers for Borderlands 3. So they take this sort of thing very, very seriously. Right, a little too seriously. You're not even allowed to react to the trailer. So you're gonna have to go watch the trailer for yourself. And I gotta give uh, Kotaku props for once. I'm gonna give Kotaku props uh, for putting this up. Um, GTA 6 trailer reaction live streams hit with takedowns. Content creators across TikTok and YouTube were hit with copyright strikes for just watching the trailer and reacting to it. You would think as a company that you would wanna build hype for your product. You would think, especially since this game is like two years off, you would think that you want people to be super pumped for this game. But no, let's hit them with a copyright strike for being excited about your game. So before we get into it any further, please subscribe for more gaming content and gaming news here on Clownfish Gaming. And uh, yeah, okay, two years from now, we will, we will stream some GTA 6. Will we be allowed to, or are they going to be nuts about it and be like, oh yeah, you can stream it, but you're going to have to pay us. Pay to stream. Grand Theft Auto reveals are arguably among the biggest cultural events in all of gaming. That is true. It was no surprise that the hype for GTA 6 blew through the roof as thousands of people patiently stared at a black screen waiting for the official trailer to release. However, after someone leaked the trailer on Twitter, Rockstar made the decision to publish it early, which left live streamers scrambling to go live as soon as possible to provide their reactions. Unfortunately, some of those reactions were hit with copyright strikes. Way to go, way to go. According to IGN, content creators reacting to the, okay, so it was IGN that did the work, not Kotaku, there we go. According to IGN, content creators reacting to the GTA 6 video ran into some trouble. Streams across TikTok were muted possibly because the trailer makes use of Tom Petty's Love is a Long Road, RIP Tom Petty. The song is copyrighted, after all, and most platforms have restrictions. Meanwhile, some uh, streams on other platforms were taken down entirely in the video below. For instance, YouTuber The Professional details how his reaction video was hit with copyright strikes. Thankfully, after some time passed, most content was brought back. Hmm. It's hard to specify how widespread the issue was given that it was temporary, but the strikes point to the chaotic flurry surrounding the trailer's release. I think it's a bad look. I think it's a bad look to strike somebody for reacting to a trailer when you want influencers to hype up your stuff. Now, on our other channel, we actually got hit one time by DreamWorks for reacting to their She-Ra trailer. It was not a very positive reaction. But uh, we got struck. Other people did not get struck. It was definitely a case-by-case -case basis because the people that were more uh, gushing in their their uh, assessment of the new Netflix Shira show, yeah, they were <laughs> they were fine. They got the green light to do it. Uh, GTA 6 has been in development for many years now, with copious leaks providing tons of information on the highly anticipated crime simulator. We've learned the game will take place in Vice City, so all these leaks are basically true. Yeah. It's going to bring the floor to energy. And the two protagonists are going to have a Bonnie and Clyde uh, type relationship. Um, let's see what the original IGN article said. They said several major content producers, Kind of Funny and IGN, found their trailers. In okay, so IGN got hit too. Several major content producers, including Kind of Funny and IGN, found their trailers and streams unexpectedly blocked in the immediate aftermath of the release. Some fans blamed Rockstar. I, th I would blame Rockstar. Some fans blamed Rockstar, but others pointed out that it seemed to be due to the algorithm on platforms like YouTube, which moderates licensed songs. Mm, um, yeah, maybe, 
because it's been my experience. If you, if you do have copyright rated music in your video, uh, it doesn't necessarily result in a takedown or a strike. Uh, sometimes it just the whoever owns the music can take your money. That's my understanding. But the strikes were one more symptom of the general chaos surrounding the sudden release. So basically, uh, Kotaku just rewrote their rewrote their article, which I'm not surprised. Uh, yeah, forcing forcing media outlets and content creators to move sooner than expected. Yeah, they weren't expecting to do this. So I think it's a bad look, personally. I don't think there are any, are there any comments on this? Are people commenting? Show all one comments. Reaction videos for a damn trailer are kind of dumb. I, be I believe that is true, yeah, for the most part. And so is throwing copyright strikes out like Halloween candy. Uh, just basically have the trailer with an emoji and here's your reaction video. Yeah, pretty much. I've seen reaction videos. Now, some people are, are a lot more in depth and they pick it apart and they actually have a pretty good reaction. I think Asmongold does a pretty good job uh, with it, but a lot of people are just like, wow, wow. Oh my God. And I know these people are totally playing it up. Like, oh my God, this is gonna rock our world. This is like the best thing ever. <gasps> Give us a free copy, publisher. Yeah, and uh, you know, I think it's like, okay, this is cool. You know, whatever. I, I don't. I'm, I'm kind of lame. I don't get. I don't get excited for much, especially now, current year, with a lot of these AAA titles. I'm like, you proved to me this game's not going to suck. You proved to me that this game's not going to be predatory. It's not going to be a live service game. It's not going to want to, you know, charge you ten, fifteen dollars a month for whatever. It's not going to charge you five bucks every time you want to punch a hooker. And, and, and we'll talk, you know, we'll talk, but, um, there it is guys. So yeah, if you reacted to this trailer, we're, we're very cautious about reacting to trailers on any of our channels because of this, we've had a couple run-ins before and it's hard to tell how the studios are going to react. And sometimes it's not actually them. Sometimes it's just their, their legal that they have, uh, representing them. And these people just kind of go out and do their own thing. I mean, I've seen Mattel, the toy company copyright strike videos that had still pictures of toys that weren't released yet or for, you know pictures from a message board or something they did this with the new ninja turtles playmates did this and i don't know if it was playmates specifically or just some law firm associated with them but they're going around like striking people's videos like hey we're super excited about these new ninja turtles figures uh from the new movie and this is what they're going to look like in the movie and they they struck them or, you know, it's like, come on, you're actually creating anti-hype. I get that you want to protect your intellectual property. I get that. But sometimes it's overkill. And sometimes you actually uh, alienate your audiences preemptively. They're like, well, we're not going to, you know, if you're going to strike us for everything, we're not going to react to anything. And you're not going to have anybody build any buzz for it. But it's Grand Theft Auto 6. I mean, this could be the worst game ever. And people are still going to buy it. I mean, you know, they are. So anyway, I'm going to wrap this up, guys. Please subscribe for more content. We'll talk later. Thanks for watching. If you like this content and want to see more, please subscribe and ring the bell for notifications and check out more videos on the channel, including Let's Plays in art and animation videos here on Clownfish Gaming. Now he's just tasty, delicious, rotten flesh meat, which I can consume and don't read into it too much. Just like our museum, the cafe, it's open to Brewster is eager to serve. I don't think this was in the show. No, run, 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 run. Oh, you got splatted. No. Wait, oh, wait, oh, wait, she wait. was begging and what? you kicked her in the face. I don't care. Hey guys, Squid King here. And today we're in a- Not girl boss, not girl boss at all. She is not a material girl. She is not. Oh, it's Christmas time here in your mom. Nobody wants to join your mom. What? Like I can't even cook kid cuisine right. I would last about two minutes with Gordon Ramsay. What? Where is he? He's hiding. He's hiding from you. He better. Oh my God, you got the ax. Walker, does this look like Steven Universe? Let me punch him. Well, I'm just here for the wax. Ah! Right where you belong. Get in the dirt. Well, that was a combination of events I probably shouldn't have put together. Anyways, let's open this bottle too. Chica Pinata. Is that official? Oh, no. There's a bootleg. Hello. Hey guys, it's Diamond Tool. Let's make a farm. Like and subscribe and buy my merch. I mean, while you're here, you guys should like really like and subscribe and buy our merch, all of which we have. <laughs> that is true. You can't run them carrying trash. And you can get away with one F-bomb per PG-13 movie. Oh, I wish I'd yeah. known that sooner. Yeah. All right, so we're gonna wrap this effort up. Yes. <laughs>